What if 8 billion people, all of us, pointed laser pointers at the moon at the same time? Would it glow red? Would it burn? Could we move it? This question comes from Peter, and the answer? It starts off boring but ends in total sci-fi chaos. Stick around till the end, because we do end up blasting the moon off its orbit. Let's start small. A typical red laser pointer is about 5 milliwatts. Let's imagine every person has one and somehow aims it perfectly at the moon. What happens? Nothing. Not even a sparkle. Why? Because sunlight bathes the moon in about 6 petawatts of energy. Our global laser army barely scrapes up 30 megawatts, about 200 million times weaker. That's like trying to light up a stadium using a box of birthday candles. Okay, what if we upgrade to 1 watt lasers? These things can burn skin, blind you, and light stuff on fire. They're banned in many places. But hey, let's assume we give one to every human on Earth. Total cost? Around $1 trillion. Result? Still disappointing. We'd light up the moon with half a lux, about half as bright as moonlight appears from Earth. Barely visible. No change in color. Still not cool. Let's go bigger. Give everyone a night sun, a helicopter-grade spotlight. We focus the beams and now get 20 lux on the moon. Enough to slightly outshine the night side, but nowhere near the sunlit part. Fine. Let's push further. IMAX projectors, a million lumens each, focused perfectly at the moon. Color filters. Precision lenses. Everyone aiming. Now we're talking. You can see it. A faint glow. We finally changed how the moon looks slightly. Now let's get crazy. Imagine every person gets a Boeing YAL-1, an actual flying megawatt-class laser cannon. We use visible light versions and point them all at the moon. Finally, we match the brightness of sunlight. The moon now reflects light just as bright as day back to Earth. But here's the catch. We're drawing 5 petawatts, double the planet's average energy use. And we're not done yet. Let's say we go nuclear. We put megawatt lasers on every square meter of Asia. We burn through Earth's oil reserves in two minutes. The moon? It glows like the morning sun. Then something wild happens. The surface of the moon turns to plasma. The plasma forms a jet, blasting moon rock into space. It becomes a massive, accidental rocket engine. In just a few months, the moon leaves orbit. It escapes Earth's gravity and drifts into an unstable orbit around the sun. Eventually, the moon either slingshots into deep space or comes crashing back down to Earth. If it does, we've officially lasered ourselves into extinction. Great job, team. So the next time someone says, it's just a laser pointer, remember, you might be holding the first piece of a moon-blasting superweapon. Like this mind-bending science scenario? Subscribe for more What If Chaos, because next time, we're messing with black holes.